talk about this dresser. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Like I said previously in my videos, I am pushing myself beyond my comfort zone. But guys, <laughs> look at this dresser. Look at this dresser. Oh my god. Mm, what can I say? This dresser is in a pretty bad stage. Look at that. Look at the holes, the cracks, and everything. Even one of the drawers is broken. That's the uh, wood piece that you see there. So I have to figure out a way to fix that. I got this dresser on my uh, Facebook Marketplace. The owner was giving it away for free. And she said, um, she explained to me why she was giving it away for free instead of throwing it away. She picked it up to uh, do a makeover on it, but she didn't get a chance to get to it. So she put it in, the, in her garage for a long time and she didn't want to just put it outside and throw it away. She want to see, uh, give it to someone that can give it a new life. So I said, let me go pick it up. But boy, mm, what can I say? Anyways, I am going to try and give this dresser a new look. Try to fix all the, um, the holes and the cracks and um, see what I can do. Like I said, I'm pushing myself beyond my comfort zone. <laughs> Like, I don't usually pick up dresses like this. Um, it doesn't have to be in a mint condition, but um, not this bad. <laughs> but before I go any further, let me start by saying hello, my friends. Hello, my lovelies. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Dixie. Thank you all so much for coming by this week to watch this amazing video that I'm working on. And uh, to all my beautiful subscribers, thank you so much for being part of my YouTube family. I am so glad to have you guys around. If you're new to my channel, um, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. I'll be glad to have you in my YouTube family. All right, guys, what you're seeing me doing right now, I am trying to give this dress a, a modern look. So I'm removing this scallop designs that you see in the front. It is both in the front of the dresser and on the sides of the dresser. So I'm removing this just to give it a modern look. All right, you all have seen me previously in the video cleaning this dresser with a TSP solution. This I always do with all the pieces that I'm working on. I always clean the furniture, whatever type of furniture I'm working on. Being in a new furniture that I need to paint or old furniture, I always, always take my time to clean this furniture really well especially this furniture you see me this dresser like i said earlier it was sitting in this nice lady garage for a long time so you all know it has collected a lot of dust <laughs> and dirt so i really had to clean this dresser really well so I've, what i'm doing right now i am sanding this dresser really good um the paint or whatever is, is on top of the dresser um, I don't know if it was paint or um, water-based uh, primer. Um, all I need to do is just, just sand it light a little bit because um, I am going to paint that area. I just need a surface where the paint is going to adhere really well. Uh, right now, I am using my orbital sander to just sand the, tape, uh, the top part of the table, as you can see. Sorry, of the dresser. As you can see, I wanted it to its bare wood color. So right now I am fixing the dresser, sorry, the drawer that was broken. 
that's the drawer right there i also sanded the drawers to its bare wood color so look at it this is what i was talking about i don't know if it was as a primer or chalk paint just a single coat uh, paint but um i just have to sand it down and just prime it again i just want my paint to hold really well um that's why i'm priming it so i'm applying two coats of primer and i'll be sanding in between each coat i have covered the top part of the dresser because i want to do a white wash on it So the paint color that I chose for this dresser um, is Sewing Williams Color of the Year 2022. Um, it's called Evergreen Fork. That's what I chose for this dresser. Um, I am really, really, guys, in love with this color. This color is beautiful. Look at it, guys. And uh, I got it in chalk finish. And it covers really, really well. Look at it. Look how beautiful it covers. I will be applying two coats of paint on this beautiful dresser. And I'll be sanding down in between each coat of paint. That's what you're seeing me doing right now. I let the first coat completely dry. Then I come in and with a light grade and sand it down, dust it, up, dust it away, just remove all the dust and then apply the second coat. That's what you're seeing me doing right now. After that, I will be applying this Minwax polyurethane, one coat polyurethane, that's what it says, um, water-based polyurethane. It says one coat on the can, but I'll be applying two coats of uh, polyurethane on this dresser and I'll be sanding in between each coat of uh, the polyurethane. That's what I'll be doing just to seal this dresser really good. All right, <laughs> like I said earlier, I'm pushing myself beyond my comfort zone uh, <laughs> this year. But look at this, guys. Um, I have tried to do stenciling in a, on a furniture before and it did not turn out right. So I stacked this away. I haven't touched it in years <laughs> because I am scared. I am so scared to do stenciling again because that furniture was really, it turned out really bad. Um, the paint was bleeding through the, um, the stencil itself so i had to sand it all off again and paint that furniture so i just have to be brave this time again to try it and see how well it's gonna turn out and i've learned i have uh, watched videos i have read instructions on how to do this stenciling so look at it guys it turned out really really well guys and i am really amazed <laughs> i am proud of myself y'all i am so happy that it, this turned out really well so what i'm doing right now i am just um doing the stenciling on one side of the drawer and let it completely dry and move the stencil to the other side of the drawer and repeat the same process so this i'm done with uh the stenciling so what i'm doing right now i just want to sand it down a little bit i just want it to look like it is hand painted i don't want the perfect look the way it is looking right now that you can really tell that i use a stencil <laughs> i can say that i'm cheating <laughs> anyway i'm just kidding but i just want to sand it down to take out the perfectness of it i just um yeah that's what i want to do that's um the route i'm going <laughs> that's the best way i can explain what i'm doing guys so after sanding everything down i am just applying uh two coats of the 
um, water-based minwax water-based uh, polyurethane that's what I'm doing right now just using my brush to apply this polyurethane on the draw drawers So for the top of the dresser, I've sanded it down to its bare wood color too, just like the drawers. And I wanted to do a white wash on it, but when I did it, I didn't like the way it looked, so I had to sand it all, all off and then uh, apply the evergreen fork paint color on the whole dresser and just leave the drawers to its bare wood color and then do stenciling on it i am in love with this guys look how beautiful this stenciling turned out so at the inside of the drawer i use this feed and wax um, product in an orange scent to um wipe it inside and just give this wood a new look and before i show you the finished product let's remind ourselves how this dresser looked like before this beautiful dresser <laughs> guys i was so glad to work on this dresser and look how beautiful this dresser turned out guys oh my god I am so proud of myself, y'all. <laughs> I am so proud of myself for just taking the chance to give this dresser a new look and take care of the whole scratches and the holes and the cracks in the dresser. Guys, look how beautiful this dresser turned out. Who would have tried i would have just passed this dresser and said uh -uh, i don't think i'll be able to do this i'm not stressing myself i just want something easy uh just bring it home clean sand down no fixing no nothing just but where's the fun in that anyways i don't think i would have had fun doing that but i really really guys i have fun working on this dresser what do you all think let your girl know how she did on this uh on the comment down below and please give this video a thumbs up like hit the like button or the subscribe button or leave a comment down below just interact with my videos help my channel to grow and thank you all so much for coming back to see this amazing project that I'm working on this week. I hope to see you all on my next video. This is your girl Jixi saying bye till next time.